Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Our topic for today is visualizing and describing percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models. Try to observe the illustration. So ito yung ating illustration. And the question here is, how many small squares are there? So bilangin nyo nga yung mga maliliit na squares na nakikita nyo dito sa ating illustration. So ilan kaya? Okay, so meron tayong nakikitang 100 small squares from this illustration. Then now, how many small squares are shaded? So ilan yung shaded uh, small squares? Bilangin nyo. Okay, so we have 7 small squares shaded. The figure is composed of 100 small squares and there are 7 squares shaded. So sa fraction, that is 7 hundredths or 7 over 100. Then kapag in-express naman natin itong figure sa ratio, that is 7 is to 100. Wherein, kinompare natin yung shaded part or shaded region doon sa, uh, sa total number of parts. So, the ratio 7 is to 100 means 7 per 100. And another name for per 100 is percent. So, the symbol, the symbol that we use for percent is itong symbol na ito. So, alamin natin ang relationship ng percent sa fraction, sa ratio, and sa decimal number. So, we have percent kanina na pinresent. We have 7% kung saan yung 7 out of 100 small squares are shaded. So, that is 7% of the total number of small squares. So, sa ratio, kanina sinabi na natin na pag kinompare natin yung shaded region doon sa total number of parts or region that is 7 to 100. Then, pag in-express natin ang ratio sa fraction, ito ay 7 over 100 or 7 hundredths. Kapag change naman natin yung fraction sa decimal number, so that is 7 hundredths. So, itong mga to ay same lang ang value. Kaya, may relationship ang percent sa fraction, sa ratio, at sa decimal number. Let's try to visualize percent in solving word problem. So, basahin natin ang problem na ito. Veronica and Ron earned 100 pesos for selling face mask. They gave their mother 80 pesos and put 20 pesos in their coin bank. What percent of their earnings did they give to their mother and what percent did they have? Okay, so, hinahanap natin dito kung ilang percent yung kanilang ibinibigay sa kanilang mother at ilang percent naman ang kanilang naiipon. Okay, so if we are going to visualize yung ating mga given kanina doon sa problem, so we have this illustration, di ba? 100, sabihin natin 100 pesos, then shade natin yung 80 dito sa 100 rich small squares. So, there are 100 parts in all and the shaded part is 80 out of 100 parts. Yung 80, ito yung nagre-represent ng binibigay nilang pera sa kanilang mother. Doon sa 100 pesos nilang kinita. So, ito yung part na binigay nila sa kanilang mother, 80. So, the shaded part is 80 out of 100 parts. And that is 80%. So, ibig sabihin, 80% ng kanilang kinitang ay binibigay nila sa kanilang mother. Then, itong unshaded part, itong 20 na small squares, so the unshaded part is 20 out of 100, and that is 20%, yan yung kanilang, uh, or natitira at iniuhulog nila sa kanilang uh, alkansya. So, 20% yung kanilang iniipon at inuhulog sa kanilang al alkansya.
In this 100 square grid, there are 80 squares that are shaded and this can be written as follows. So again, sulat natin yung 80 squares or 80 shaded squares out of 100 square grid dito in percent form. So sa percent form, that is 80% wherein we use the percent symbol. Then sa fraction, if we are going to change 80% into fraction, that is 80 over 100 kasi 80 yung shaded parts and 100 yung total number of parts. So 80 over 100 or 80 hundreds. Then in decimal form, since ang ating denominator is 100, dapat meron tayong two decimal places. So that is 80 hundreds. Then ang ratio naman niya, if we are going to compare yung number ng nakashade small squares dun sa total number of squares, that is 80 to 100. Pag binasa natin yung mga numbers na ito, yung 80%, we read that as 80%. In fraction, we read this as 80 hundredths. Same with decimal. So, same ang basa natin sa fraction at sa decimal. That is 80 hundredths also. And sa ratio, that is 80 is to 100. Okay, so let's now define percent. Percent is a special ratio that compares a certain number to 100. It is a ratio whose meaning is similar to a fraction with a denominator of 100. Percent also means hundredths, so it can be written as decimal, and the decimal in hundreds can be expressed as a percent. So, ito yung reason kung bakit ang percent may, ay may relationship sa fraction, sa decimal number, at sa ratio. Let's have another picture. So, what can you say about this picture? So, this picture shows 3 fourth shaded parts. So, kita nyo naman na may tatlong parts ang shaded at may isang part na unshaded. And if we are going to count the number of small squares, that is 100 square grids. And these 100 square grids were divided into 4 equal parts, leaving 25 square grids each part. So, ang bilang ng ating small squares kada isang part ay 25. So, pag minultiply natin 25 times 4, that is equal to 100. Yung unshaded part natin is 1 part, and that is also equal to 1 fourth or 25 hundredths ng ating parts. Then, yung 3 parts naman is 3 fourths or 75 hundredths. Yun yung shaded parts natin. So, pag binilang nit natin itong mga small squares, diba, yung mga shaded small squares, that is 75. Kasi 50, 25 plus 25, 50 plus 25, that is 75. And yung total number ng square grids natin is 100. Kaya 75 over 100. And that is also equal to 3 fourths. So now, uh, how can we express 3 fourths sa percent? Since dapat, di ba, pag percent, ang ating denominator is 100. So to change 3 fourths to percent, we multiply the denominator by a number which will give you a denominator of 100. So for example, 3 fourths. 3 fourths. So for ang ating denominator, dapat um, maging 100 yan para mabilis natin siyang ma-express into percent. So, isip ka ngayon ng number na pag minultiply natin sa ating denominator na 4, will give us an answer of 100. Okay, so, multiply natin siya sa, okay, 25. Kasi 25 times 4 is 100. Kung ano yung minultiply mo sa ating denominator, ayun din yung multiply mo sa ating numerator. Then, proceed tayo sa multiplication. 3 times 25, that is 75, and 4 times 25 is 100. So, since 100 na ang ating denominator, mabilis na natin siyang ma-express sa percent. So, that is 75%. So, yun yung uh, way natin kapag ang ating denominator is not expressed in 100 or hindi siya 100. So, ito lamang ang ating gagawin. Okay, let's have this activity. Complete the table below using the given data. So, ito yung ating table. May ratio, 
may fraction, percent, and decimal. So, sasagutin natin itong table using this condition. So, the set of even numbers from 1 to 20. So, ang gagawin natin, ililista natin lahat ng even numbers from 1 to 20. Ano-ano ang mga even numbers na yon? These are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Okay, so i-compare natin yung number ng even numbers sa 20 kasi yun yung total, ng, total lahat ng numbers 20. So that is 10 is to 20. Or pag in-express natin to in lowest term, that is 1 is to 2. So sa fraction naman, madali na dahil gagawin lang natin in fractional form, 10 over 20, then get the lowest form, that is 1 half. Okay, so sa percent naman, we get 50%. So, alam natin na ang kalahati ay 50%. Pero, paano natin nakuha yung 50%? Eh, hindi naman uh, ang denominator ng 20 is 100, di ba? So, ang gagawin natin, yung 10 over 20 ay iisip tayo ng number na pwedeng i-multiply sa 20 na ang sagot ay 100. Sa denominator tayo babasik. Dapat kasi yung denominator natin ay 100 para mas mabilis natin siyang ma-express sa percent. So, ang sagot natin dito is, multiply natin siya sa 5. So, pag nag-multiply tayo ng 5 sa denominator, same din yung gagawin natin sa ating numerator. Then, multiply, 10 times 5 is 50, and 20 times 5 is 100. So, madali na natin siyang may express sa percent kasi 50 over 100 na and that is equal to 50% okay, so yun kaya natin nakuha ang 50% then, sa decimal number naman since ang ating denominator ay 100 kailangan 2 decimal places yung ating uh, decimal number kaya 50 hundreds Okay, next condition is the set of odd numbers from 1 to 20. So, ano-ano ang mga odd numbers from 1 to 20? So, ilista natin. We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. Ilan lahat ang odd numbers na ating nalista? So, meron tayong 10 out of 20 numbers. So, 10 odd numbers out of 20 numbers. So, that is 10 is to 20 in ratio. And in lowest form, that is 1 is to 2. Then, sa fraction, we have 10 over 20 or 1 half. So, sa percent naman, we have 50%. So, paano natin nakuha ang 50%? So, gamitin natin yung 1 half. So, 1 half. Isip ka na ngayon ng number dito sa ating denominator, 2, na pwede natin i-multiply sa 2 na ang sagot ay 100. So, that is 50 2 times 50 is 100. So, 1 times 50 is 50. Kaya, 50 over 100. Then, express na natin siya sa percent. That is 50%. Then, express natin sa decimal. That is 50 hundredths. Let's have another condition. So, the set of composite numbers from 1 to 20. Again, what is a composite number? Ang composite numbers, ito yung mga numbers na ang factors ay more than 2. So, ano-ano ang mga composite numbers? So, ito. 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, and 20. So, ito yung mga composite numbers. So, ilan lahat ang composite numbers na ating nalista? We have 11 is to 20. So, ang 11 is to 20 ay hindi na natin pwedeng i-express sa lowest form. So, same na lang din siya ng fraction 11 over 20. And sa percent, we have 55%. Again, paano natin nakuha ang 55%? So, compute natin. 11 over 20, isip ka ng number na pag minultiply sa 20, we will get 100. That is also 5 over 5. Then, multiply. 11 times 5 is 55, then 20 times 5 is 100. So, since 100 na ang ating denominator, madali, madali na natin siyang ma-express sa percent. So, 55%. Then, express a decimal number that is 55 hundredths. Next condition is the set of prime numbers from 1 to 20. Ngayon naman, prime numbers. Ano ba ang prime? So, ito yung mga numbers na ang factors niya lang ay dalawa. 
yung 1 and itself. So, ano-ano mga prime numbers natin from 1 to 20? We have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. So, ilan lahat ang prime numbers na yan? Meron tayong 8 out of 20 or 8 is to 20. So, express natin sa lowest form that is 2 is to 5. Then, get our expressed 8 is to 20 into fractions that is 8 over 20 and 2 over 5. Then next, ang percent nya is 40%. Paano natin nakuha? So, we have 8 over 20. So, we can also use 2, 2 over 5. So, mas mabilis itong 8 over 20 dahil ang number na pwede natin i-multiply sa 20 is 5. And 20 times 5 is 100. So, pag nag-multiply tayo dito sa ating denominator ng 5, gagawin din natin siya sa ating numerator. Then, 8 times 5 is 40 over 100. So, express natin siya sa percent, that is 40%. And sa decimal form naman, that is 40 hundredths. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.